All right, welcome back, guys, to another episode of Food Culture. Today, we're making one of my favorite side dishes, mashed potatoes. Uh, so we're going to make mashed potatoes with sour cream, cream cheese, and can't help but have a little garlic. So stick around, and we'll be right back. First things first, we're going to peel all the potatoes. So in this uh, recipe, we're using uh, two and a half, roughly two and a half pounds, which is about four large uh, Yukon Gold potatoes. So you want to uh, really dice them evenly and uh, obtain to a quick cooking process that can take roughly 10, maybe 10 to 12 minutes. We're going to smash four to five uh, cloves of garlic. Garlic on the limb to give it that extra pizzazz, extra flavor for a really, uh, for really a great dish. It almost come across. And just repeat the same step until all the potatoes are mashed. Now, when boiling, we're gonna start with. Cold water versus hot. Start with hot water. Uh, the water is going to really cook the outside first, uh, leaving the uh, uneven potato. And it really takes long time to get to the center. Next thing, we're just going to smash four, basically four to five garlic cloves. If you like more garlic, the more garlic, the better. But I think uh, four is just a really good, sufficient amount for this dish. Two tablespoons of salt. We're gonna start heating up the creamy milk mixture. So a little cream, a little milk never hurts. Next, we're gonna add four to five tablespoons of butter. So we'll make up the infused, infused time. Uh, mixture and gently heat that on the stove now i'm going to cook the potatoes for 10 to 12 minutes till fork tender then we'll overcook them then you want you don't want to let them sit and uh retain so much water so you can really form uh gummy uh, potatoes as well so um when we, once we strain them we have to strain them in colander we have a choice of using a handheld masher versus a ricer. My, my pre preference is a ricer because it yields a creamier potato or smoother potato, should I say, versus um, a handheld masher. If you like a lumpy, like some chunks, that's just a personal preference, but my preference is to really use a ricer and yield smoother potatoes. All right, guys, we're back. It's uh, been 10 minutes, so now the potatoes should be done. Uh, we're going to check for doneness and just want to make sure the potatoes are nice and perfect uh, so we can get ready for mash. So I'm just going to just scoop one out and really cut open and check and see where we are. Mm. Tasty, fork tender, so not overly done. And we're going to get ready to strain and mashed potatoes. So after the potatoes have fully uh, drained and re been removed from excess water, I'm going to transfer them back to the same pot. What I like to transfer them into the potato meal or the food meal, should I say, and just make it easy, one easy step so I can just really uh, roll the potatoes right back in the pot, smooth and sound. Let this drizzle these back. Get the here. So next, we'll just 
nicely smoothly the sturdies in the food mill nice and gently so you'll see the um, tears start to really push through the food mill and become smooth the tears as we get ready for that. So usually I'll just take a spatula and fish down the sides and just repeat the process until all the potatoes are complete. So it's an easy process. This is my personal preference. I always prefer food mills over um, hand mashers because I always like to get potatoes. And it kind of sometimes depends on what you're uh, eating with it too. You know, if you want a rustic uh, potato, uh, rustic mashed potato, use the uh, hand masher, but if you want to smooth something, give you some finesse with uh, a meaty dish, say you have chicken, say you have a steak, you can't go wrong with smooth potatoes. Then just really scrape all this down. And sometimes I just like to just heat it up a little bit. Uh, in, the dry, in the dry pot, so I can remove all the excess water that's been um, upheld. So earlier, I added the, I, I started the cream and butter mixture, cream milk and butter mixture. So I'm just gonna add a little bit, turn the fire up. It all depends on how thick you want it, how smooth you want it you know try not to go too smooth because it's still making mashed potatoes and not a potato puree a little salt a little pepper turn on the fire pretty much turn the fire off but uh sour cream they were one of my favorites and you can just kind of just give that a stir need some smooth mashed potatoes now be careful not to over mix because we're not looking for uh, gummy mashed potatoes. And one of the key things is uh, do not put mashed potatoes in a, a blender or anything like that because it really um, gives you leeway to have gummy mashed potatoes. So that's something we really don't want. And as you can see, it takes a little time and a little effort to make these potatoes successful. as you go. You get the garlic, get the butter, get the sour cream, get the tank from sour cream, get the smoothness and the sweetness from the cream cheese. So we're gonna plate these nicely done. Potatoes. Can't go wrong with potatoes. Like I said, it makes an easy uh, side dish that everyone loves. I, I have not run into a single person then we're going to take a little fresh parsley and give it a nice rough chop. Alright guys, if you like this recipe, please share in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. You're cooking with food culture. Easy dishes, cooking made simple. And uh, look forward to cooking with you soon. Happy cooking.